We're at 3,500 followers. Nice. Yeah, somebody somebody just put us at that marker. I know they did. Well, what? Well, whoever it is, Thank you're you. amazing. You're the man. We love you. Or the you. woman. Or the woman. I don't know. You're the person. Yeah. Uh, Della Boyd. Della Boyd. Della Boyd. You're, you're a real one. Della Boyd D. He, him, her, she, they, whatever you are, you're the best. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, need, I need like a background drop, some dry right. ice, make it look real intense. You're the best. You're the best. And you responded. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm welcome. It's my dude right there. That's my man. But Alright, yeah, so we're gonna see a Pokemon trainer. Pokemon trainer, ooh. I I'm confused why Daisy Sucks is now I, playing Peach. I, I like it's just Daisy Suck, okay? Daisy Suck. I think they ran out of letters. And she's playing Peach. Daisy Sucks is Peach, of course. You know, I don't like either of these characters, but you know, Pokemon's better than Peach. So. Really? I don't know. I mean, I don't think Peach is a bad character. I think, she, I think the players uh -oh. give her a bad rep. They're both a mate, a fantastic. Yeah. But let's focus more on this match. You're right. So okay. using the Razor Leaf to zone her out. Yeah. She I mean, had turnips. Good. I mean, obviously, but they canceled the turnips. Like, that's a good choice. Absolutely. And the turnips are such a good part of her kit. Oh, they are. They lock you down so easily and so quickly. Yeah, they serve so many different purposes. You know, just regular damaging, combos, edge guarding, all of it. All right, so I'm interested. Oh, just barely yeah. out zoning right the Yeah, I just went right through her. Wow. That's disgusting. The F At 72. Didn't yeah. kill. Almost. Almost. Very, very close. Wow. Ooh, okay. The that fair. Good. Yeah. Actually, that was Nair. That, that's the thing. Peach, Peach's Nair does a lot of damage. That yeah. was Nair? That was Nair. Peach's Nair does a that lot of damage. Slap it, it was at 140%? Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, no. Her Nair is that spin. That it, slap yeah, was her fair. Oh, she slapped? I thought yeah. she spun. No, she slapped. Oh, okay, she okay. slapped the crap right. out of Charizard. You're right. You're right. She beat Charizard like he didn't do. He he missed Fire Blast. And she was you're like, right. what? You're right. You're right. I, I have slap. enough hit badges to train you. Hit you with the crown. Like, I don't need badges to train you. I'll For just really? slap you. Okay. But so we've seen uh, since he, since he used Ivy Sword to neutralize that first turnip, we don't see a whole lot of turnips coming out of right. uh, Daisy. Right. I mean, honestly, we're not seeing a lot of like you know aerials above the ground from from Peach. You know, most of the aerials are coming from Ivy Sword. Honestly, we're seeing a lot of Ivy Sword up I, like aerials. Yeah, that Nair is so good. It covers. It, is. it has such a big hitbox. It's it's better than Palutena's in my opinion. For sure. It's way more active. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. a much larger area. Right, you can't you can't like combo into itself like like Palutena's Nair, but it, it is good on its own. Absolutely. And then you, I mean, it zones the person out, so then they just yeah. get so much coverage off of it. Oh yeah. And oh wow. Okay. <laughs> and we've <laughs> seen Ivysaur's reign with those vines. Yeah. It's insane. And Ivysaur's dare and up air are, the, those hit boxes are way too active. Yeah. They're active for no reason. Oh yeah. All right. I mean, Pokemon Trainer just trying to close out that la that you know one more stock, and then we can get back to a uh, last stock situation for both of them. But I'm kind of upset we didn't see any Squirtle. And as I say that, oh, you're Squirtle. Be about to <laughs> <up> <laughs> no, you thought, you thought, nope, Squirtle sucks. He doesn't. Not in my opinion. I know. I don't think Squirtle sucks. But he combos you know. really well. I know a lot of people think Squirtle sucks, but I remember two months ago, everyone thought he was the best. I just think. All three Pokemon do something very different. And yeah. When you I mean, play them thing, all. You know, this is a very versatile character. Honestly, versatile character I just right think now. you should just play certain characters. Like, I feel like Ivysaur and Squirtle are the ones to get damaged. Yeah. And Charizard is the one to kill. I think Ivysaur can do both. Squirtle has a very tough time doing right. or getting yeah. any kills. Right. But he's so tiny, so agile. Yeah. He can rack up damage so easily. Okay. Good. Yeah. Wow. That was a good, good answer. Can't get back. Nice. Good edge guard from, from Peach there. That was very nice. So Hobo Bench taking the first one. Yeah. I mean, he knew he was going to recover low, so it was just very easy to just throw it, you know, throw the turn right off the stage. Absolutely. I mean, down. Ivysaur, when they reach for that ledge, it doesn't get iframes yeah. until he grabs onto the ledge. Right. So it was a good opt. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, for, for characters with a tether grab, like, you know, the Belmonts or, or, um, or in this case, I would say the 
turnip is very good uh, for catching people like that because uh, you just throw it straight down, straight up, whatever. You know, as long as you time it right, you can just knock them straight down. And they can't really get up. I mean, even with the, the Charizard extra jump and the up B, still can't get there. Absolutely. It's tough. Yep. But, all right. Getting into this game, too. It's going to start off with Ivysaur. Of yeah, course. Obvious. I feel like his this Pokemon trainer just has much to be desired. He's leaving out a whole third of his kit. I know. And I really think that Squirtle does better in this specific matchup than Ivysaur. I think yeah. that Squirtle can is fast, which is better than Peach, and it can combo well, which is good against Peach. Exactly. I was actually playing a uh, Pokemon trainer the other day. Yeah. Just Squirtle and uh, Charizard did it for me. Yeah, but. yeah. I mean, Squirtle has, like, some... Ooh, that down throw is su it's such a good confirm for Peach. Wow. Huh. All right, so both just trying to use their range to zone each other out, get some confirms off. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, that's the thing. Like constantly jumping, like every is like every time is jump attack, jump attack. They're not really oh, switching it up much. Oh, Ivysaur doesn't have a very uh, good range good on ground the ground. Kit. Yeah, he doesn't have a good ground kit. It's true. But even so, like Peach is so strong in the air, it's hard. You know, it's hard trying to contest her like that. Although he is doing a very good job of doing so right now. I think if anyone can contest her, it's definitely Ivysaur because he throws out the whips. He's not throwing out his whole true. hitbox to try and cover it. That is true. Ooh, are we gonna see a big brain flare blitz? Uh, maybe. No, I no, guess not. But that bear is bear. so good. Why does it hit up and diagonal? I don't know. Is the tail? I mean, honestly, the tail hit him, and that definitely makes sense to me. But I don't know. I don't know why the tail goes that far. Yeah, like, oh, I lied. It's not even like an up and diagonal. It's a whole whip. Yeah. It covers the whole back. It does. It does. Well, there's your big. <laughs> That's not so big, right? All right. Okay. So boat. Yeah. Boat looking. Wow. Looking angry. Yeah. Not not him personally, just the rage. Right, right, but right, the rage. Still managing to keep it in, and uh, okay. I'm going to stop talking now. Back down to neutral. It's okay. So, but, you know, he's put in 34% extra credit. Racking yeah. it up to 44. Down to 40. Wow, nice. Ooh. Those nares get those damage. Get the damage. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, they're trying to trade aerials there. Yeah, I really don't think that he should be trying to fight him in the air. I yeah, I mean, the up air is him. very big. I mean, the up air and the down air are both really big hitboxes. You have to respect them. I mean, I don't know what she does in this situation just because the whips are zoning her out so intensively. Right, yeah. And I mean, I'm really surprised. Like, I would. This is this is one of those matchups where, you know, as a Peach or a Daisy player, I would want to be throwing turnips a lot. Like, I would be trying to counter the stuff with some turnip play however you can. But really yep. only using for edge guarding. But yeah, but we've seen that the Razor Leaf counters it. It's true. It's true. But I think if you go over, I think it's, you know, Razor Leaf is very easily, you know, it's just, it's just a purely horizontal. You can't arc up as much. Okay. Okay. Trying to, okay. Try to catch him with the, uh, the, <laughs> the offstage fair, but I guess not. You got a Pokemon named Ike. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> wow. All right. So, if Hobo Bench wants to stay in this, he's going to need to seal this lot quick. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. They're just kind of... Oh. As Charizard, 177 is not the place I want to be. Yep. But it's where Hobo Bench wants them. Because of that. <laughs> It is. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Seeing some more turnip play, but if you just jump over the, the razor leaf and throw it down. He's just going to ferry you. Yeah, he's going to ferry you. You're right. So, out of block, still getting that nair. Making it very difficult for Hobo Bench to get in. Yeah. Ooh, okay, whipping the grab. down tilt. The down tilt. The yeah. famous Daisy Peach down it tilt. Really, yeah, it really is famous. Infamous. It's just so scary. It, it combos know. into so much. I know, and that's the thing. Is like, I, I'm surprised because, you know, obviously, Koda's, you know, giving some 
Some Ooh, they both did the exact same cook. percent. At, ooh, it's not the back. Not gonna kill ya. Not gonna kill ya. And... Oh, man. Just about any of uh, Peach's aerial kit at this point. Yeah, kill. I mean, they're both at the kill percent. Like, honestly, this could go either way now. Oh, man. Like, it just takes one. One hit's gonna do it. There it oh, is. and calling him out with the F smash. I mean, that was disgusting. He hit him right in the face. Like, just... Like, welcome back. It's my stage. Headbutt. Wow. The wind up too. He's like, slingshot myself in your face. And while we were commentating that fantastic match, thanks, uh, no skills for the Thank uh, you, no subscribe skills. and the gifted sub. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, no skills. I should think. That's All right, cool. but we're we're gonna see the same stuff. Yeah, I mean, honestly. So we saw a quote make the adjustments he needed to, but what what what, what we can see from Hobo Bench? What does he need I to do? I don't know, because more. I'm like I mean I'm gonna say it again. More turn play. I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna say it again. I want to see some more. I want to see some more turn play. I what know people don't like it, but what did you want to see? I don't think you said it enough. Turn play. I want to see some more. Turnip play. Let's get some turnips. I'm hungry. Give me some turnips too. Like I don't want to eat turnips. Oh, uh, well, they just, they taste so good, though. There's a Stitchy. Stitchy, give him the Stitchy. No, can't do it. What a waste. But, yeah, I mean, obviously, they, you know, we're, we're seeing some some more some more potential out of Peach in this game. 94% already to a 30. Oh, man. So, Hope Bench making the adjustments he needed to. So far. You know, I think he just really needs to, just like this, stay on top of Ivysaur. Yeah. And he just needs to force Ivysaur into situations where he can punish, like that. Right? Absolutely. It's like you need to read the Nair, dodge it, and then and then react. Uh, now, see, I like what Quote does here. When he feels like he's getting close to dying, he opts to go to Charizard. So that way when he switches out, he just quickly Yeah, right goes right back to Ivysaur. And I get that, but it's just like that's also resigning yourself to death. I'm it's like up. you're just accepting, like, I'm just going to die. I'll switch back so I can be ready. Yeah, I, I, I'm upset though. I want to see Squirtle. Yeah, I know. I give you, I would love to see some Squirtle. But what can you do? But yeah, I mean, the the, the range on Ivysaur F Smash is pretty crazy. I would love to see some more of that this uh, this this game. I I don't know. We'll see if he reads some more. Nice. Okay. Wow, the booty. The booty bump. The booty bump of death. Damn. Okay. Wow, okay. Oh, Almost wow, just barely there. whipping with that turn up. Yeah, very close. Okay. And here comes Charizard. That's the thing. You know, we're now, seeing this Flare Blitz a little bit higher than a lot of people. He's not trying to hit him with the Flare Blitz. Yeah, which I like a lot. Most people will go to opt to hit him with the Flare Blitz, right. get blocked, and just get F Smash. Or with a, with Day I mean, Peach and Daisy, counter. She's got a counter. Oh, yeah. Oh, so that is something he could do. It's not like it doesn't he, work in the He air. went for it there, but it was just he was too far up. Oh, okay. I didn't even see him with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he went for the counter, but, I mean, obviously he wasn't trying to get hit with it. He wasn't, he wasn't getting hit with it. Yeah, but a completely different game from the last one. Yeah. Hobo Bench has completely run away with this lead. Yeah, Hobo Bench now is doing a lot of, like, low float aerials and stuff, which is really good for, you know, I mean, obviously Peach and Daisy combo potential is so big when you do a lot of those low float nair, fair, all that kind of stuff. Uh, good advantages, because you know, everything you can do in the air with Peach, you can do on the ground. Oh, man. Yeah, I shouldn't have gone for the second one. That side B is a little. Ooh, quote calling him out. Wow, that down smash kills. I got him. Hey, he was so Or that down stuff. throw. That's crazy. Yeah, down throw, it was such a high percentage. But still, I feel like it takes a lot in this game for a down throw for to For a down throw to go? Yeah, obviously, because yeah, for sure. But all right. Wow. Ooh. Okay. Good air dodge through that. And now it's not impossible for him to come back. As you right. see, he can get plenty of hits off. For sure. And, and sometimes it is difficult for Peach to, to get the kill at high percentages. Um, but it just takes a fair. At this point, it's yeah. just going to take one fair. Like, if you can get that, you're good. And he's using very good, uh, good use of the hover. Yeah. Absolutely. Very good technical peach play. Uh, 
get some get some uh, oh. some hope in the chat for for quote. Quote's got the he's getting the energy. Everybody, raise your hands. <laughs> Give him your energy. Give him your energy, boys. Okay. I mean, Hobo just kind of like taunting him with like the the like the the floatiness. All right, so he's he's gotten the Hobo Bench to the 112 on the second stock, but that's it. Uh, back booty's throw too is, strong. Yeah. Booty too back strong. Back throw is a great, great kill option. Very good kill throw. Uh, I'm sorry. Not that it, that 